The clock is winding down on Everett's time here with us in Detroit and at Local 4. As we've said all morning long, he is leaving us after today, taking a new job in his hometown of Chicago. So this morning, we enlisted our Devin Skilling oh boy. to help us as we look <laughs> back on his nine-year career in the Motor City. WTIV Local 4 News Today at 5 starts now. Welcome to Local 4 News Today. And I do want to give a huge welcome to the newest <laughs> member of our morning family. This is Everett Casme. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm excited to be here. When Everett Casme arrived at WDIV in 2013, we knew we were getting a new anchor for our morning newscast. But we were getting so much more. This is so... Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> How in the world did he do that? Wait, come, is that real snow? Come over here real quick. He had to be more. To make it in the morning on Local 4, you have to think outside the box. Lucky for us, Efrod never even realized there was a box. Certainly, it's never bad for an anchorman to be described as a baritone. But Evrod's baritone moved far beyond the anchor desk. The songs and the albums just kept coming from a prolific singer and songwriter. Yes, Evrod's passion is music, and that in turn helped create a passion for Detroit. Where better to be than the world's greatest music city, hanging out with perhaps the greatest singer of the modern music era. Lift every voice and sing. At the special event station, Evrod excelled at making things even more special. Get ready for the amazingly talented Evrod Casimir. Singing at the Ford Fireworks. Hey, what you've given me, I could never return. And I imagine Evrod will spend years finding leftover beads in his clothing, courtesy of the Distinguished Clown Corps at America's Thanksgiving Parade. No! They never found a better target. our favorite part of the morning! Whose favorite part? When things are right with a morning newscast, it feels like a family. So when he and his wife, Danielle, added to their growing family, it added to ours, too. And when Evrod got one of the early cases of COVID, Detroiters felt like it had hit their family. And the loving wishes for a speedy recovery showed him just how big his Detroit family is. I also want to just thank everyone who has prayed for me, sent me messages on social media, via email, text, phone call. Um, I felt all of that, and I, I really appreciate the love, and I'm so thankful um, that I have the, the support of the community here in Metro Detroit. That Detroit family included the music and theater students at Cast Tech, Everod raised thousands of dollars for them and celebrated their talents and voices. And that makes it that much harder when someone in the family feels the call to leave. Turns out it's also because of family and wanting to be closer to them in his hometown of Chicago. We knew the announcement was coming, but that didn't make it any easier. My family and I are moving to Chicago soon where I'm gonna be an anchor and reporter for NBC5 WMAQ. And so Evrod moves on to write a new song, one about going home, but one built on the chord progressions of the home and family he built here in Detroit and at Local 4. Boy, I tell you, Devin has a way of getting you choked up. Whew. I brought the tissue for you, but I feel like I need it. And we have some special guests here with you. Everett's family is here. We have Malachi and Shay. Oh, and little Chloe and Danielle. Hi, Shay. Come over here. Oh, you guys. Uh -huh. Me too. Uh, Malachi, what do you think about heading to Chicago? I think it's very fun and I like it a lot. Yeah? <laughs> Danielle, I know this has been a lot. Um, yeah. How can you just describe how it's been for for Evrod and being able to go back to his hometown. I know. Hold the mic up to mommy. Super special. Yeah. Um, yeah, full circle, yeah. right? Yeah. Aw, Shay, you got anything to say? She's ready to sing. <laughs> I love dad so much. Oh, I love you too, buddy. Now we're just I love done. You too. <laughs> well, we have some more surprises. Surprises More surprises. For you if, if we can hold it together. We had a story written by Devin Skillian. That was incredible. <laughs> but of course, we know that Evrod's raised money for what? Detroit's Cat Tech High School. So they are here. He's an honorary alumni. <laughs> and they're here to celebrate. Let's go. The entire band is here.
music and his concerts. What do you want to say to Everett? I want to say we love you. <laughs> Every since the day you graduated from Cast Tech in my office, <laughs> you have done nothing but support us 100%. So on behalf of Terry Berry, Monique Bryant, Cast Tech High School, the Performing Arts. Thank you so much. We love you, and we're so proud of you. Too. And we're coming to Chicago. Yes. Please do. Let's just Please take the do. whole band. Yes. Um, I also want to acknowledge Jeff's Thank Pizza you. because oh, Everod came here and fell in love with Detroit-style pizza, not yes. Chicago, where he grew up and where he's headed. But they have a special delivery oh, for my you. Oh goodness. And Malachi, if I can grab the mic so that you can have an opportunity oh, wow. to give this one's your favorite. Give a tribute. Which one of you want to do the talking? Everod, on, on seriously, from John Jets and the Jets Pizza family, yes. congratulations on your move to Chicago. You've Thank done a you. lot for the community, and we really appreciate what you have done. <laughs> remember, we have locations in Chicago. You do. Yeah. I found them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, if you ever need something for us, give us a call. We'll help you out. We love you, buddy. And you, Again, thank you for everything you've done for Metro Detroit. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Jets Pizza, for not only giving a pizza to Everett, but to all of us. Yes. To all of us. Uh -huh. And Everett, I just wanted you to <laughs> just have a moment. Uh, <laughs> if you can. Let me get myself together here. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah, it's been it's been nine incredible years, and it has finally come down to this moment. Um, this is the last time. Mm. <sighs> Um, the last about being here with you in the morning. It has been a joy. We've gone through so much, and I'm leaving Detroit with a heart of gratitude. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you that are a part of my extended family. I'm so thankful God brought me here to Detroit to spend time with you each and every morning. I have grown as a journalist, as an anchor telling your stories each and every day. Behind the scenes, I've grown as a person, a coworker, a husband, a father, a son, a friend. And that's what each and every one of you are to me. Not just you here, but you here at home as well. Thank you so much for inviting me into your home for the past nine years. I am incredibly grateful. Please come visit me in Chicago. We're right down the street. <laughs> and when you see me, make sure that you say, what up, doe? I will say it right back to you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you Join so much. Join us on Local 4 Plus for much, much more. Love you, buddy. Love you.